everybody wants to get united. Like what we gotta do is meet everybody in home 49th Street at the bench. All I want for my 90th birthday is peace of mind The life of feeling fine, never see my car declined Yeezy told me in my dream to keep working all daily Drizzy told me to remember the city that made me Then I woke up, dope life like woke up Special records with hella reckless abandoned Opa, ribbon on the mic cause I'm so damn gifted Vicious with the riddle, bitches snapping next some biscuits Since 15, lyrics blessed like the Sistine Since 16, wallet looking like some mixed greens I'm Birdman meets Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton I need a thick white girl, Nikki Heaton My gut growing, yeah, I stay eating They can't stomach me, pretend they all sleeping Call me the break, cause my mental say shit Pointing at my thumbs, yelling action, make your flicks Hearing your reaction when I'm blessing all my shit Eyes wide open, competition croaking Haters lose they cool like I left they fridge open Vader with the paper, guess my dark side is showing I run this bitch like a winner of a dog show Got a big nose, still waiting here for God's blow I smell the bullshit cooking from a mile away I'm always slept on cause all day I'm wide awake I see your eyelids stranded on my island I'm a castaway, but I'm quiet, not silent Formulating my words for when it's my turn I might be turning to 11 levels, blessing ears from here to heaven But the devil catching wind, so I bless the treble Sound basic, no bass left So I'm left with icy And I see that I gotta stay icy I mean I'm cool, but these girls too salty Bitch so basic that I wedged out of old key in control, so I shift the conversation Enter in the house, then I end, so I'm escaping I see you now, you say you're wild on your keyboard In principle, I live in Springfield like Seymour Cartoon lifestyle with brushes like the seafloor Had a tongue twisted like I'm Sally at the seashore Oh, you rap? I'm a wordsmith, tongue a serpent Make the beat my servant Will you win this shit? Yeah, right, I'm certain Got the beat blushing, turn up the heat or something Welcome back to the bench, ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll be reviewing Flame Blue. Now, this video is sponsored by BombingScience.com, and as you might expect, you can find all the information to Bombing Science in the description down below, along with the link to Flame Blue directly in case you want to pick up some after this review. Also, I got coupon codes down there for you as well if you want to save yourself a little bit of money when you spend over the amount it says down there. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and give out immediately my thoughts on this product and then I'm gonna go into why. Would I recommend this paint? Like, would I purchase this in a real scenario? Yes, I would. It's pretty good paint. Now, let's get into a little bit more in depth of a review. Flame Blue is gonna give you nice, beautiful, vibrant colors, which is really what we all want in our spray paint. And as it says on the can itself, this is a low pressure can, so it's typically easy to control. However, I did find Flame Orange for whatever reason to be easier to control. Once again, I don't know as to why, but it's still easier to control and I feel this is worth mentioning because newer graffiti artists they're gonna need that leg up on a can that's just easier to control as to where if you have can control it's really not gonna matter if you're good at can control flame orange and flame blue it's not it's not gonna really make a difference they handle pretty much the same now that's not to say that this can has bad control it doesn't at all whatsoever I can still cut back my lines I can still get a nice flare you can see I have a flare here and if you're not too concerned about flaring well then you can still fade your paint and kind of dust it off at an angle and all that good stuff so the paint is good paint now for this next part keep in mind I only have three different colors and they're very light colors as we said in the flame orange review light colors tend to struggle a little bit more with coverage as to where darker colors tend to have an easier time covering so do keep that in mind what I'm about to say may not hold true to all of the colors of flame blue because I have a very limited experience with these colors and can. Now, with that said, I did notice that the red and the blue covered very well, very easily, but the green struggled quite a bit in the beginning. But after a while, it started to actually cover very well. And that's about the only downside, is that one color kind of sort of struggled in order to cover very well, and it's not even that much of a downside because it covered beautifully once the paint circulated. The other downside being that flame orange controls easier than flame blue. But as I said previously, if you know can control, it's not really gonna matter. So if you're buying these specifically off preference, if you were to ask me, I would go with Flame Orange. 
That's my preference. But both of the paints, Flame Blue and Flame Orange, are good. Now, the one thing I do want to mention, I feel it's worth saying, is the very first time I ever used this can, I noticed that there was a little bit of dusty spray. You guys know what I'm talking about when you when you spray a cap and you get the line, but then you get all this crap at the edges. That had me a little bit worried, so I went ahead and I took a brand new cap, never used before, New York Fat standard, like everybody knows how New York Fat looks. It's a gold standard for cap. I sprayed that and it didn't give me the crisp, clean line. I had those dusties as well on the edges. So I do want to mention that, just so like that you are aware that that may happen. I do feel maybe I should have shook the can for 10 minutes instead of 5. But, <laughs> but that just goes back to the can control. If you know how to control it, you'll be fine. So to wrap everything up, to conclude the review, I like Flame Blue. It's a good purchase. It covers well, gives you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. I don't think it's as good as Flame Orange, but it's still very solid paint. So if you were to ask me, would I recommend this to somebody? The answer is yes. Anyway, that's going to bring us to the end of today's review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys left feeling, you know, like you know a little bit more about this product. Don't forget we have some links to Bombing Science in the description down below that will lead you directly to the website as well as directly to this product. Also on top of that, I got some coupon codes down there for you as well. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to go crazy on that like button. Let me know that you enjoyed the content. And for those of you guys who are new here, we come out with weekly art videos. That ranges from everything from speed paintings, graffiti as you just saw today, sketchbook tours, and God knows what else. So if you don't want to miss out on this content, feel free to subscribe. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, peace. Welcome to the end card, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys want to see the Flame Orange review, you can see that right up here. Or if you'd like, if you'd want to check out somebody whose artwork I enjoy here on YouTube, you can always check out this playlist right here. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. I'm going to get out of your hair. I'll see you guys later.